but wide apart. And then just windmill them either way, either side. Beautiful. Absolutely cracking. I'm just going to move my screen down so you can see me on the floor. There we go. Well done, guys. <laughs> nice. Okay, come to a still in the middle, put the soles of your feet together, but push your feet quite a bit away from you. Don't have them right next to you. Push them about another feet away from you in the front. If you want and it's comfortable, lower down onto your elbows, forearms on the ground, shoulders must be back. Don't collapse into your shoulders, push your elbows onto the ground to lift your chest up. Pull your belly in, and then if you want, you can just wiggle your knees side to side. Woo. You should feel your upper body stilling, so it's calming down a bit. Your hip flexors, which are the muscles on the front of your thighs, right at the top, which might be aching a bit now. We're gonna let them release. Nice. Come to a still, and then just gently, one hand at a time, push your hand into the ground where your elbow just was, and push up to seated. Excellent, okay. From here, you're gonna put your feet out. Actually, I recommend that everyone has your cushion or your towel, and you're gonna sit on it now. <clears throat> now, even if you've got really open hips, sometimes it's just good to do it differently. It's always good to change what you're doing with your body so it doesn't get used to it. So, it's useful to sit on your hips for this, because it allows you to lift your pelvis, push your, tilt your pelvis forwards a bit, which is gonna increase the stretch along the back posterior of your leg. So it's gonna be the shins, the cup, shins, the calves and your hamstrings. So sit up straight, but make sure you're not arching your back, pull your belly in. Nice, legs straight and your toes are pointing up, then we'll try and fall back, keep them up. Okay, from here, fingertips on the floor, big inhale, sit up straight, exhale. Your hands are gonna to tiptoe forwards and your hands are connected to a string on your chest. So as your hands come forwards, they pull your chest forwards, not your head. Your head is not connected to anything, apart from your neck. So as your head, chest comes forwards, you can look either at me or you can just look ahead of you on the floor. Make sure your toes, your feet are pointing up and they have not dropped back. Inhale. Stretch up so you're pulling your head diagonally towards the screen. Exhale, your, your hands are going to pull your chest forwards. Inhale, bring your head towards the screen. Exhale, your hands pull your chest forwards. Inhale. Exhale, forwards. One more inhale. And one more exhale. On the next inhale, just walk your hands back slowly. Take your left hand. Now, it doesn't really matter which your left, but I'm going to say left and just do it with your left as well. You're going to tuck it under your left shin. So your, uh, your elbow is on the inside of your thigh and your left hand is underneath your left shin. Okay, left shoulder comes back, it'll want to collapse forward. Make sure it comes back. Right hand sweeps up as you inhale, reach towards the sky. Exhale, bend your left elbow, which is gonna pull slightly down. Inhale, lift your hand up again. And as you exhale, push that elbow against your inner thigh to turn your chest up towards the ceiling so you can look at your hand. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend your left elbow and push it into the thigh to open up your chest to the ceiling. One more, inhale. 
If you want, you can slide your left hand up to your left ankle. But our, our, we are not trying to touch your foot. You're just trying to open your chest. One more inhale. And exhale, open your chest. You should feel a really good stretch on the outside of your open side of your body. On the next inhale, slowly undo your left hand and come back upright. Ooh, you can give yourself a little wiggle if you want. Okay, this time, nice. I like your wiggles, guys. Right hand slides under your right shin and your right elbow comes on the inside of your right thigh, not on the inside of your knee, thigh. But you protect your knee so you don't want to push your knee out. Okay, so keep a slight bend in your right elbow and then look towards your left foot. In, make sure, sorry, make sure your right shoulder is back, not collapsing in. Look towards your left foot, inhale, sweep your hand up to the ceiling and stretch up. Exhale, bend your right elbow and nothing else right now. Inhale, stretch up again. And exhale, push your right elbow into your right thigh to open up your chest. If you want a slightly more intense stretch, bring your hand just behind your head so your thumb is just out of your vision. So inhale, stretch your hand up to the ceiling. Exhale, bend your right elbow and push it into your thigh so you open your chest. Make it more intense, slide your right hand to your right ankle. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, push your chest out and reach your hand back slightly. One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. On the next inhale, slowly come back upright. Woo. And give yourself a little wiggle. Nice. Okay, if you do have a mat, pull it out now because we're going to lie down for the last bit. Why not? Also, if you've got a towel or a strap, it'll, it'll be quite nice to use it now. It's not a obligatory, but it's nice. So if you have, if you've got your towel, then you can just, it's not too sweaty, tie it up into a strap, okay, and we're just going to come lying down onto the floor, okay, lie down flat onto the floor, and you're going to pick up your left foot up into the air, your right foot stays on the floor, but your right foot is flexed, it's not floppy, okay, from here, you're just going to put your, step your foot into your towel. And it's absolutely fine if your leg is bent. That's absolutely fine. Okay? Now, so your left foot is in the towel. You're going to place both far ends of the towel in your right hand. Left hand is stretched out to your left, palm down on the floor. Inhale. Straighten your leg as much as is comfortable for you. As you exhale, you're going to drop your left foot over to the right and onto the floor. So by having our foot in the towel, you can gauge as much as you want how much you pull your left foot up towards your head. Try and keep your left shoulder on the floor. And by doing that, you are going to have the stretch going all the way across your hip, your back, your shoulders, and the outside of your left leg and thighs. So every inhale, you can, if you want, push, sorry, push your left shoulder onto the ground with your inhale. And your exhale, if you want, pull your left foot closer towards your head. As long as you can feel a stretch on the outside of your left thigh and bum, you're doing it properly. Big inhale. Make sure your shoulders are both on the floor. Exhale. You can either just push your leg straight or pull it up. Only pull your leg up if it's straight. 
One more long inhale. And one more exhale. Bend your foot, leg, sorry, and come up back to centre. Release your left foot, put it onto the ground. Give your both your legs a little shake. Then pick up your right foot and place your right foot inside your towel. Left leg is straight and your left foot is flexed. Okay, now right foot is in the towel, so the ends of your towel are in your left hand. Right hand straightens out to your right, palm down. Absolutely fine if your leg is bent, flex your foot. Now inhale, push both your shoulder blades into the ground. Exhale, drop your foot over to the left onto the ground. If it doesn't touch the ground, that's absolutely fine. Make sure both of your shoulder blades, particularly your right shoulder now, is on the floor. If you want, you can either look up at the ceiling or at your right hand. So you can either have your leg bent or have your leg straight. If your leg is straight, you can pull your leg up towards your head. Inhale, push both shoulders into the ground. Exhale, straighten your leg or pull it up towards your head. Inhale, shoulders come down to increase the stretch across your back. Exhale, straighten your foot or pull it towards your head. One more inhale. One more exhale. On the next inhale, bend your foot, pull it out of your towel, come back up to centre. Straighten your legs, give them a little wiggle. Throw the towel aside. It's done. <laughs> and beautiful. From here, you're just going to, in fact, just roll over onto the side. <laughs> and push yourself up by your hand and come up to seated. Bring your soles of your feet together, but have them really far in front of you, just so you can touch your feet, no closer. Okay, from here, push your left and only your left hand under your left leg and take hold of the outside of your left foot. Right hand is gonna sweep up Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Left hand doesn't take hold of your left foot. It just goes flat on the, in front of your left foot. Sorry. Right hand is going to sweep up to the sky. Inhale. Push your left hand down and straighten your back. Exhale. Twist around and look at your hand. This is another twist but this is more across the front of your abdominals and the front of your left chest and shoulder. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, push your left hand into the ground so your chest comes towards the ceiling. One more inhale. And exhale, look back down, bring your right hand down and unthread your left hand. Right hand comes under and palm faces down on the outside of your right shin. Sweep up, inhale, sweep up your left hand up to the ceiling, stretch towards the ceiling. Exhale, turn your chest towards your hand. Inhale, stretch your left hand up. Exhale, push your right hand into the floor and turn your chest towards the ceiling. So again, you should be feeling the stretch across the front of your right abdominals, the front of your right shoulder and chest. Push up, inhale, exhale, chest round. Slowly look back down, bring your right hand back down and now just completely flop your head forwards. Let your head dangle. Let your head dangle just towards the floor. 
Your hands can just lie on top of your feet or on the outside of your shins. Let your back curve, let your belly hang out. And you can shake your head no to make sure your neck is really relaxed. The more you just let yourself hang, your lower back is going to unstick itself. The vertebrae that have been stuck together by sitting on your desk, all the muscles that have ridged together during this class to try and hold you upright, let them all slip apart from each other now. And all you have to do is close your eyes, and imagine the segments of an orange, it could be a real orange or a Terry's chocolate orange, falling apart from each other. Maybe you just unpicked the segments of the orange, or the sun has melted your chocolate orange. The segments are falling away from each other. And put that orange in your lower back. As the segments of your orange slip away, your muscles are going to let go of each other. Your vertebrae are going to set apart from each other and reset themselves into a comfortable position. Let your orange completely melt away and dissolve as your lower back takes one big side of me. Watch your lower back smile and then just walk your hands up your shins, keeping your back bent, over your knees and onto your thighs and place your hands on the outsides of your hips. Cross your legs, sit up straight and roll your shoulders back. Nice! And give yourself a round of applause! Good job!